I suppose if I just put my finger on my... Oh, oh, hey! I didn't see y'all there. How are you doing? <laughs> What's up? My first... Last video, you saw me shoot somebody straight in the head with a shot, eh? How did you like that? That has to be the best ending you have ever seen. Who's there? Anyway, I still got the shot A. And I'm very happy with my shot A. But, beside all that, beside all that, hold on, let me close my door. All right, so beside all that, we are gonna continue with the Michonne. We're going back to the main case and we'll be doing fathers and sons. So what this tells you is that we have to keep looking for Professor Harry Ado, the leader and, um, oh, Jesus, man, I am gassing today. All right, so we, uh, remember the black guy? I don't know, he didn't have a name, okay, so I didn't just generalize him as black guy, okay? All right, take it easy. But he knows the location of Professor Harriet Doe. Um, but he won't tell us until we find the smugglers who are for him to get him smuggled out of the city. And I believe we're gonna find that clue at the newspaper office. So, let's go ahead and get in now. Oh, I never know this one. Okay, people, they are... Oh, I know it's in Salvation Harbor and that it was an advertisement. What else it was? I'm not sure. I mean... Professor Harry Doshi would be a celebrity then, I guess, right? No? No? Official? No, I don't think it's any of these then. After the float. Wait, no. No, stop. Stop it. Oh, yeah. Well, not in the first go, but not in the second either, and not at the, th well, the third Ford. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Anyway, Toothless Bob's wake. The time has come to send Toothless Bob on his final journey. This time to the Seven Oaks Bar at the crossroads of Calmshore Saint and Salvation Road in Western Salvation Harbor. Calmshore Street and Salvation Road. Okay. Let's go ahead and get over now. Let me just real quick go ahead and check if it's far, far away. Because we have to go to... Calmshore Street and Salvation Road. Okay. Okay. It's a meow. Calmshore Street, Summon, some, and, and Salvation Road. Ah, here we go. Calmshore Street and Salvation. What's just here? Let's mark that. Um, this time to the Seven Oaks Bar at the crossroads. Of calm shore and salvation. Okay. Crossroads. 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 So I suppose that's over. It's gonna be over me, right? You know what? Let's just get there. Let's just go ahead and get there real quick. So how's everybody been? How are you guys doing? My guide video, uh, I don't wanna brag guys, but uh over 1k views. Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy about that, man. I am uh, pretty hyped. So it means people like it. Uh, the further more the game will progress, um, I will be doing some more of those guide videos. I think it'll be fun. Let's see how many suits we can tackle because we are on a kind of a deadline because we got another game releasing uh, in three weeks. Of course, three weeks sounds like plenty of time, but I do work most of the time during the day and during the evening, so that kind of that kind of sucks. But <laughs> okay, just read them easy. Oh, isn't it? Never mind. Oh, here it is. Well, that wasn't hard to find or figure out. Ooh, are we gonna get get into a bar brawl? It's you. The man who made the boss blow a gasket. <laughs> Caleb never thought a newcomer would make him look such a fool to Mr. Throgmorton. It's not my fault you guys didn't check the warehouse. Uh, I know. No hard feelings, pal. Impressive work finding the killer. Uh, maybe you can help me with another one. The name's Sam Shaw. 
<laughs> Take your drink and let's talk. Didn't I hear something about a prohibition? Uh, of course. This place merely sells juice. Old fermented grape juice. <laughs> a tonic for your health. So, how about that business? How about that business? We can talk, but I don't work for free. Uh, I know, I know. Still, the task is simple, so I can't offer a lot. I just need a few photos of crime scenes. What do you say? You're the police officer. Why can't you take the photos yourself? Yeah. The cases fell to other detectives, but they've let them slip through the cracks. I can't go behind the backs, but an outsider... Tell me where to find the bodies. Here are three file cards with names and addresses. That sounds like Bring a side quest. of the victims, then I can start to get this moving again. I'll be waiting upstairs for those three photos. Please, try to be discreet in this matter. Well, I'm discreet in every matter. Take care. Why does he never do the bye anymore? A uh, little bird told me there are people in Oakmont who can help me leave town. Maybe, maybe not. What makes you think I know anything? I've heard they're having a wake for Toothless Bob here. That may be true, but I don't know you from Adam. Prove you ain't some gumshoe. Come on, you can trust me. Ask Mr. Throgmorton. He can vouch for me. <laughs> if you think I'll trust you just because you were doing business with that ape, then you've got another thing coming. But you're still alive. That means you've got something going for you. You bet. Okay. What about a little favor? Nothing fancy, don't worry. I expected a package to be delivered ages ago, but the courier still hasn't shown. Find out what's taking him so long. Here's the address. That is Got one, one more ugly mouth. If you don't find him, <laughs> bring the package back, will ya? It's a great food. <clears throat> the water of life, if you catch my drift. Bye. Oh, there we go. Bye. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. All right, so we gotta go find a courier. The bartender can arrange a meeting with the smugglers in return for finding out what happened to his courier. The courier went missing after visiting a house on Levi Coffin Avenue, not far from the crossroads with Marsh Avenue and Western Grimhaven Bay. Okay, so let's see, Grimhaven Bay to the west. And then it was, um, which one was it? Some summon, some summon. <laughs> yes, that's it. Levi Coffin Avenue, let's search for that one because that shouldn't be that hard to find. West, Levi Coffin. Wait, I'm already in a new zone, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Y'all seen it? I ain't seen it. Levi Coffin Avenue. Where the fuck is that place then? I mean... Oh, here it is. Levi Coffin Avenue. That's not west. Oh, I was looking east. I'm fucking retarded. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Alright, so it is... Somewhere around... Meow. All right, let's go in and head there, and I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, so for some reason, that was impossible to fucking find. I kept going through here to the infested area, but it was right up there. All right, anyway, you guys ready for some, some serious, some serious ponage? Something tells me that it ain't gonna be friendly. Huh, maybe it's not that bad. Jump on that motherfucker down. Oh god. Fuck you. That's it? Easy. Well, hearing the sounds, that was definitely not. Not it. Oh shit. Get pooped on. 
Anybody else? But there's a motherfucker down now. It's got to be somebody down now. No? I don't believe it. I can hear him. Motherfuckers. Somewhere. I believe he's still upstairs. Oh yeah, he's definitely nearby. Come on, buddy, where are ya? Where is he hiding? Maybe he's not in here. Fuck. Alright. Let's just get started. Maybe it's the sounds from the infested area nearby. They still be making that noise. Alright, let's go and inspect this place. Holy. That's a lot of materials. What's there to inspect? Nothing? Huh. Oh. Left by something heavy with wheels. The blood's almost dry. Almost dry. <laughs> nope, don't shovel. I've seen ashes like this before. Well, that's one way to get rid of a corpse. Well, maybe he wasn't a corp. Okay, that was right behind me. What's going on? Where is he? Am I losing him? Oh! Oh, here you are. See ya! Take my shot, eh? What the fuck is that? A whiskey crate. Gunpowder. I can't carry any more gunpowder? How much did I get? 23? Let's get it all into Thompson. Man, I can make bombs? Holy shit! I am decked the fuck out. A crate containing six full whiskey bottles. That that's it? That's the hint? That's all I get? I mean that can't be true. This area isn't investigated yet. Empty, but reeks of gasoline. It's probably what they use to burn them with. Oh, there we go. Well, this one shouldn't be too hard to figure out, I think. Jurok, whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? No mercy, boys. He's been asking for this. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? You're done, kid. Someone talks to the cops behind my back. Their history. All right, so I would Get assume it, boys. time to figure this out. One. You're done, kid. Two. No mercy, boys. Three. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Whiskey bottles. Understood. Drock. Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? Sergeant. Wait, what? That was the wrong order. Let's oh, use this one. Drock. Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? You're done, kid. No mercy, boys. Usually get I get to someone go. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? So oh, there we go. Was looking for a crate here and was brutally killed. The crew that did it were headed up by a guy in a wheelchair. I see. Key evidence is collected. All evidence is correct. All right, we done with that zone. All right, uh, the courier was brutally murdered, 
apparently while looking for a crate hidden behind the wall. His killers were led by a man in a wheelchair. It appears he was murdered for cooperation with the police. And six whiskey bottles. Okay. Um. Right, so... A murder. Conspiring with the police. So maybe we gotta go... Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I think we might have to go to the police station. Maybe check out the files. Not sure if that's it. And if it isn't, that will be a lot of figuring out. So I will see you guys at the police station. Or maybe I won't see you there at all. Oh, Peppa Peace. Alright, so I'm an idiot. <laughs> if you paid attention earlier in the video, you would have known that the guy in the Seven Oaks told you if you get the materials, yes, then you got to be delivering to them. So I'm assuming the whiskey bottles are probably his, and I hope this will be the guest of a li the, the guest, the guest of a lifetime. Remind me again where the fuck this place is. Oh, meow. Right, here it is. Okay. I remember. I forgot to take photos of the crime scene. I hope that doesn't matter. Alright, so he was upstairs, I think. Oh, no, wait. You have to get it to the bartender. The police officer was a side mission. My bad. <sighs> well, I found your courier. I hate to break it to you, but he's dead. Someone didn't like him talking to the cops, and, well, they made it pretty savage. Oh, okay, I'm dead. He might think I was in on it. He? Who's he? A boss. <laughs> Not my problem. Just tell me what I want to know. Who do I gotta see to get a man out of the city? You're on there, pal. It is your problem. The boss is the only one who can arrange a bon voyage. There, a newcomer. Here's the note with your instructions. Beyond that, you're on your own. Okay, thanks. Here's your water of life. Shh, keep it down, pal. Not too shabby, newcomer. You deserve a reward for this. You bet. Bye. A whiskey crate bartender's instruction. Eight bullets. Eight bullets. Man, we own it. Let's see what we gotta do next. Rendezvous point. An alley on Windmill Avenue between Octopus Avenue and Skipper Avenue. Southern Salvation Harbor. Octopus. Octopus. Oh, there we go. Octopus Avenue. Skipper Road, so let's go ahead. And, um, oh fuck. Was here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was on an alley on Windmill Avenue between Octopus and Skipper Road. Okay, so that would be Skipper Road and. Octopus Avenue, an alley, so it's gotta be right there. Okay. So where's a quick st that's right over meow? Man, lots of exploring to do, boys. Lots of exploring. I feel like Dora. <laughs> Alright. So how's everybody been enjoying the Let's Play so far? You guys uh, like it? You think it's good? Of course you do. You love it. You love it. So we go up meow. Why does this feel like an infested area? Because it is. Ah. So it is an alleyway, huh? Which is an alleyway here? Maybe that one in front of us. Go parkour over there. There is no alleyway here. So it was Windmill Avenue, an alley on Windmill Avenue. Okay, so 
Oh, it's over here. Okay, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I keep forgetting that the streets are so much longer than you expect them to be. You gotta be crossing the water and you'll still be on the same street. It's weird. I don't understand. I think it's gotta be here. Hey fella. What do you do when you see a dog? Pet it or kick it away? I'd kill it because the dog's rabid. Right you are. You're a new one, huh? Come with us. Just take me to your boss. Just take me to your boss. All the evidence is collected. Sweet! Man, we collecting evidence left? We collecting evidence right? All over this mother. So yeah, I bought so much freaking candy, boys. I am ready for the weekend. I'm ready for the motherfucking weekend. I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. I bet you would have. Who are you? And what the drug do you want? Let's be quick about it, kid. I don't have the whole damn day. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. <laughs> he says and it you can help what. with uh, certain things. <laughs> so you want a favor from me, Mr. Reed? And what would that be? I want to smuggle a man out of the city. Yeah, a lot of people want to leave Oakmont, kid. Few ever succeed. It won't be easy. And, like everything in life that's worthwhile, <laughs> it won't be cheap. <laughs> <sighs> so, what's it gonna cost me? Billions. Normally, I wouldn't do drock for a newcomer. But you're doing business with that old... Ape lover, Throgmorton. I think that's interesting. That tells me you're worth something, kid. Now, I have a job needs doing. But it needs to stay between the two of us. And the other people in the room. <sighs> Guess I have no choice. So, what do I need to do? First things first. My name's Brutus Carpenter. Rightful head of the Carpenter family. Second thing. Someone tried to kill me a week ago. Oh, you're not asking me to track them down and kill them, are you? No, kid. I've got hatchet men if I need them. And I don't want to kill them anyway. I just want to know who was gunning for me and why. Yeah, I know how it sounds. But after I almost died... I realized that being a hard case isn't the only option. I want to try to do things differently. Wow. I wasn't expecting mercy from a crime boss. So, what's the catch? It's not a trick, kid. I couldn't give a damn what you think about me. When you're at death's door, it makes you reassess your priorities. All right, color me interested. Color. How did this all happen? I woke up in the crematorium inside a rolled up carpet. I had this tag on my toe like some cadaver. And I was covered in this weird rancid slime. I managed to get myself out of there. But what I saw once I got home made me think I had a screw loose. And what did you see? Me, kid. Some palooka wearing my face and walking out my front door like all was well with the world. So I decided to get out and hole up here. Gathered a small company and pulled myself together. That's crazy. What was your last memory before the crematorium? I can remember clearly a dinner I had a week before the incident. After that... Yeah, oh, only bits and pieces. I remember writing something in my diary. I don't recall what, except it was important. Those notes could tell us how it all started. And I suppose that diary's still in your manor. Exactly, kid. In a strong box in my room. 
You have my permission to crack it if it's necessary. I'll write you the address. Why can't you just give me the code? You must have tried to do something about this imposter already. Well done. Of course I did, kid. I wouldn't be asking for your help if this was just a walk in the park. My people said they killed that other me. It didn't change a thing. I guess they got the wrong guy. Any thoughts on who'd want to do this to you? Yeah, it must be someone close to me, so I can't trust anyone. I haven't even contacted my son Graham. Normally I'd get him to solve this. I'm vulnerable now. I can't risk exposing myself. Another good reason to bring in an independent contractor. Ooh. So where would I find the city's crematorium? Ah, uh, of course you don't know. You're a newcomer after all. Here's the address. I got it. It appears you're quite capable of standing without aid. So why the wheelchair? Does your curiosity always beat out your courtesy? I'll tell you if it makes you happy. I'm old. Some days I feel tired. This wheelchair, unlike many people, has never crossed me. So I know I can count on it if I need to. Right. You mentioned your son, Graham. Can you tell me more about him? Graham? Why would you care? He has nothing to do with this. You sound pretty sure about that. Of course. Graham is too honest. And since the end of the war, he turned into a real bleeding heart. It's become a bit of a headache, actually. Of course, we've had our differences. Especially about the family business, but he would never hurt a fly. Let alone me. Goodbye. All right. Solve that shit. <laughs> oh, man. That seems like a good part to end the episode with. I hope y'all motherfuckers enjoyed, and I will see you guys in a little bit, because I will be continuing. Bye-bye!